Hello folks, Jose here for another video tutorial by WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, what we're going to do is take this um, theme, Altitude Pro, and this is the default uh, demo site for Studio Press. We're going to take it from this, and what we're going to do is add a video background. I've always wanted to do this. It's just a few years ago I thought about doing it, and I just haven't had the time. So finally I've had some free time, and I'm going to get to do that today and show you what it takes to go from this, which is already a nice theme, but we're going to change it to make it, in my opinion, a little bit better. We're going to do this to it. It's going to have a video background. I mean, you could put any video you want. I just happen to put this, uh, this animation of a storm, which I like. So we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do at this point is go into the background, take out all the code, and show you how to do this step by step. And by the end of six easy steps, you will have a video background also. So let's get started. So here we go. So now I've ripped out all the code and now it looks just like the demo site. It has this uh, tree, a mountain scene in the background. And let's get started then. So the first thing we need to do is go back into our dashboard and go to this button where it says plugins. And we're going to click on this button where it says add new. Well, you are. I'm not. I already did it. And then once you've done that, you're going to search for a video background uh, plugin. That's what it's called. And the author of that plugin is Blake Wilson. So that's step one. Find that plugin, install it, and activate it. Once you've done that, what we need to do is upload our video. That's step two. So we go to Media Library. Upload your video in the format of MP4. You also want to upload a, a, a similar video, the same video in the format of WBM. And you also want to upload a placeholder image. So th what that's for is some devices, especially mobile devices, don't allow video backgrounds. So by having a still image of the video, uh, it'll use that as a fallback. In this video, in this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. But I'm, I, it's very easy to do, and you can do that on your own later. But so the first, what I really need you to do is get an MP4 video and upload it to your media library. So once you've done that, we need to go back to our plugins uh, button, go down to where your video background plugin is, and click on getting started. And this is step three. Now, the only thing you really need from here, I mean, there's a, a few things. You can read through it if you want, but all you're really looking for is this short code. Highlight it and copy it. Control-C copies on the Windows machines, in case you didn't know that. There's a little tip for you. Control-C will copy it. Once you have that, uh, we need to do um, a step four, which is go to our favorite text editor. And what we do is we go to uh, the file called frontpage.php and what we want to do is find this area here which says Genesis widget area front page dash page dash seven and at the end of, we're going to add some code at after this so where you see this double brackets and a semicolon just enter a couple times just to give yourself a little bit of space and what we're going to do is echo out that short code so we type this echo do uh, underscore short code and then put the double quotations it's also a good idea to at this point put the semicolon to end that statement so that you don't forget later and then all you have to do is go back in here between the double quotations and paste that short code now once you have that short code in there we're almost done all we're gonna do is uh, replace a, a couple things this these placeholders, which are symbolized by the pound sign, we're going to replace them with links for the MP4. If you want to put a WEBM file and also your poster file, you can replace these placeholders. That's all they're for. I'm not going to do the WEBM or the poster today, but you could do that if you wanted. And we're also going to modify this container element here. So let's go back to our, um, to our dashboard. And this is step five. Go back to your dashboard, which is right here. Where is my dashboard? Here it is. Go to Media Library. And this is the, the file I uploaded. So click on the whatever file you uploaded. And then you'll see a little section here that says URL. Just double click or copy the whole uh, link. Copy it. And then we're going to go back here into our 
text editor, highlight this placeholder, make sure you don't highlight anything else because we don't want to delete anything else. We just want to type over this placeholder. So once you've highlighted that pound sign, uh, control V on the Windows machine will paste that uh, URL in there. So we've done that. And uh, then the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out which container we want the video background to be in. And that's easily enough, easy enough to figure out. Just go back to, to our browser, go back to the theme, and we just right click here, inspect the item. And what we're looking for is this one. See, if we select it, it highlights that section. You can see, see? So what we're looking for then is the ID of front page dash one. So we're going to copy that. Oops. Let's go back to our text editor, highlight the word body, paste it. And right now the dot symbolizes class. I don't want the class. I want the, I want the ID. So we replace that dot with a pound sign, which means uh, ID. And then we can save this. And let's go back to our um, browser. Give me one second here. We refresh it and we already have a video background, but we're not quite done yet. There's a few more things that we need to do. Um, this is the last steps, which is step six. Um, you can see it's a little bit dark. So let's take care of that first. I, I, by default, the Altitude Pro theme puts in a little bit of an overlay to make it dark like this. And if you like it like that, leave it, but I don't want it like that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So all you have to do is go back to your text editor, go to style.css, go to line 1250, it's somewhere around there, and where it says image section, then you'll see all these words say background this, background that. Highlight them all and just comment them out. Save it. And then let's go back to our editor. If we refresh it, you will now see that it's a little, uh, it's not so dark anymore, that, that uh, gradient is now gone. The other thing you want to notice, so have a quick look. I'm going to refresh this and have a quick look at the background. You will see that the default image is still there. We want to get rid of that. So the way we do that is we go to our media library, go to appearance and go to customize. And then here where it says front page background images, just click on remove, save and publish. And now, if we go here, you will see when you refresh, it doesn't show that again. Let me show you again. See, it's blank now. So what we want to do at this point is uh, one more thing, because if you notice here, if we inspect it again, and then we want to test this on different devices, for example, if we want to test it on a Samsung 5, you'll see that there's space in between here. See? the white space, it's not resizing the video. And that's easy enough to fix because all we have to do is go back into our text editor to our style.css, go to the end of that file. And all we're going to do is basically tell it because right now it's doing that because the, um, the plugin sets a max width. And so then that basically it can only uh, resize to a certain ex extent. We want to take that away. So we want to tell it that the container video big vid BG container, the video in there, we don't want it to have a max width. So we put none and we put important so that it overrides what the plugin settings are. So we just save that. And then if we refresh, you'll now see that it, it uh, takes up the whole container and that works in any, any, uh, device. If we go to an iPad, it works there. If we go to an iPhone, it works there. It works in all the devices. If we take go to a full size one, you can see it works perfectly now. And my friends, that's all there is to it. You now had a vi have a video background. I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and also visit my website and click on a few things, on my few uh, link affiliate links. It helps me out to keep putting out these tutorials. And uh, that's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.